Right, Shalom. First and foremost, I'm going to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashim and Asha Warwakar Kodash, which Yahweh is the Heavenly Father's true name. Yahweh Shah is from the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, it's his true name. And Rakar is the Holy Spirit. I'm also going to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. We want to teach well in the scriptures and salutations to all the brothers out there pushing this word in all truth and in all sincerity. Now, this is just going to be a quick uh, GMS scripture of the day. I'm on the road right now, and I was just thinking about this because uh, I just uh, actually worked out, you know, about health, all right? You know, uh, us, you know, in this truth, you know, hey, we got to take care of ourselves, you know? And, you know, a lot of brothers, before they came into this truth, you know, a lot of brothers weren't, you know, healthy, man. You know, eating abominable foods, eating greasy foods, you know, not into the herbs, the veggies, you know, eating excessive meats, you know, so on and so forth. You know, say some brothers, you know, weren't working out, you know, doing things like that, man. You know, and this is in our culture and our heritage, man. Our, our, you know, our people were warriors, okay? You read about all the men of valor, all right? The mighty men. You know, our, our um, ancestors were into, you know, the herbs, the oils, all right? So that's why it says here in Sirach 30 and 15, it says, Health and good a state of body are above all gold, and a strong body above infinite wealth. All right, and the reason why having um, you know a healthy body is better than you know riches is because if your you know body is sickly, okay, it's weak, you can't even enjoy. You know the uh, the wealth that you have because you're you know too busy in agony you know in pain and you're suffering you're not even thinking about you know uh, you know the gold silver you know the uh, the finer things of life so to speak all right you know that's why it's important for you know us brothers to you know stay active you know eat healthy you know and, and just keep you know you know keep pushing man okay and by you being, you know, active and you being, uh, you know, eating healthy, that fights off a lot of diseases, okay? Especially in this kingdom because, you know, there's so much pollution from the cars, the trucks, all right, from this uh, radiation, from this, you know, uh, 5G, 4G, okay, all, all these things, all right? This Wi-Fi, it affects our bodies negatively. We got a lot of toxins in us and we got to constantly get these toxins out, man. And a good way to do that is, uh, you know, uh, you know, uh, you know, uh, drinking lots of water, you know, uh, sweating, you know. That's why working out is good. And also, uh, for uh, herb-wise, eating cilantro is very good to get out uh, these toxins. Okay. Now I'm gonna keep reading verse 16. There is no riches above a sound body, and no joy above the joy of the heart. Okay. And it's also, you know, hey, you gotta have a, a good mind, man. You have to have a very, uh, you know. Um, healthy mind as well that's why it's good to uh constantly read you know and eat um what they call brain foods all right such as uh fish walnuts or if or a few things but you got to make sure you read because that's uh basically that's your um that's the exercise for that muscle you know you uh reading you uh um you know uh doing meditation okay and it says death is better than a bitter um, life or continual sickness and that's right because you don't want to be living you know in agony and pain having you know a sorrowful mind you know having a, you know an, uh, also an angry mind because hey, you read about you know if you look at studies and you um you know about uh, stress all right stress can uh, actually get people sick and it can kill them, give them all these heart problems, heart failures, all right, so on and so forth. You know, that's why we gotta, you know, constantly, you know, uh, we can't have that heavy heart as well. Uh, there's a scripture in Sirach that talks about that, all right? The, the, it says something under the lines, take no he uh, heaviness to heart, meaning your mind. Yeah, when you have negative things happen, it doesn't feel good, but you gotta, you know, you know uh, uh, brush it off, man, keep pushing. You know, don't dwell on these things. Don't dwell on the negativity. Think about the positive, man. All right? 
And we gotta have that champion mind, you know, frame, man. That champion mindset. All right. Think about the positive, the the good of things, man. Because once you start dwelling on that that negativity, man, that that's gonna, hey, man, that's gonna consume you and kill you, man. All right. Spiritually, mentally, and physically. All right. And um, you know, with that, I'm gonna end it off. You know, hopefully this was edifying. You know, I'm gonna give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Shimei Shai. Also, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And salutations to all the brothers out there pushing this word in all truth and all sincerity. Shalom.